Absolutely. All right. Uh, let's say a little bit about what's going on in uh, from Iraq to Afghanistan. Yesterday, uh, Gates, the defense secretary, was on uh, cable and McChrystal was on 60 Minutes last night. Uh, I want you to sit back, relax, and enjoy. Here's a soundbite of the secretary of defense talking about um, how if we lost in Afghanistan, if we pulled out, how that would really help recruitment for al-Qaeda. Listen to this. Taliban and al-Qaeda as far as they're concerned, defeated one superpower. For them to be seen to defeat a second, I think, would have catastrophic consequences in terms of energizing uh, the extremist uh, uh, movement, al-Qaeda, recruitment, uh, operations, fundraising, and so on. I think it would be a huge setback for the United States. Yeah, uh, Senator, a lot of people feel that way. Uh, McChrystal it needs a whole bunch of more boots on the ground over there. Uh, why is the administration taking so long? First, I agree with Bob Gates. Uh, anything uh, like a withdrawal or a pullback in Afghanistan would re-energize and invigorate uh, al-Qaeda and all the related terrorist groups. It would send the absolute wrong signal to our partners and to those who are on the border and may decide that they would rather join with the extremists. But uh, what's happening now, I think, was further revealed in the statement apparently made by McChrystal last night that only once in 70 days had he talked to the commander-in-chief. Right. Now, apparently, President Obama is not comfortable with being commander-in-chief. He wants to dither and dally on deciding whether to accept the plan that he charged General McChrystal to develop, mm -hmm. which is a very thorough and detailed plan. Uh, but uh, Obama can go to Copenhagen, be on the Letterman Show, <laughs> he can be on everything um, except the Food Channel and Fox talking about it, but he can't talk to his commanding general. Yeah, and that's an amazing thing. Let's take a listen real quickly to that exact snippet of McChrystal saying in 70 days he's spoken to the president once. Are you confident that you will get what you asked for. I'm confident that I will have an absolute chance to provide my assessment and to make my recommendations. But you're already under pressure not to ask for more. I mean, how does that affect what you do? It doesn't affect me at all. And David, I take this extraordinarily seriously. I believe that what I am responsible to do is to give my best assessment. How often do you talk to the president? Uh, I've talked to the president since I've been here once on a VTC. You talked to him once in 70 days? That's correct. Can you imagine ever saying to the president of the United States, sir, we just can't do it? Yes, I can. And if I felt that way, the day I feel that way, the day I'm sure I feel that way, I'll tell him that. And what's your take on this, uh, Senator Kit Bond, on what the general just said? I think General McChrystal is right on. Uh, it's unbelievable that uh, the general in the field, who has listened to all the commanders, he's listened to our intelligence people, our State Department people, the military people, and he said that the next 9 to 12 months is absolutely critical. And if we delay any longer, we may be in a position where we cannot stop. And uh, the Taliban, with their friends at al-Qaeda, may have gained mm -hmm. so much momentum that we won't be able to turn it around. I think it is, uh, it is deplorable that uh, the president continues to dither. We need to have McChrystal come testify to the Congress yep. and to the American people to say what he said in that assessment, which is that this is winnable. We need a new strategy, which he's outlined, gotcha. a very good strategy. We need more resources, but we need it now. Yeah. Senator right. Kate Bond, stick around because uh, we're going to be talking to you more. Uh, he's walking away from the Justice Department's probe into CIA interrogation tactics. So we're going to find out why, Senator, you decided to leave that committee. Plus, more than 200 schools have ordered this.